um, today we have a, a, a new panelist, a guest of ours. Her name's Jane Mullen. Jane, a little bit about yourself. Okay, thank you. So I've been using oils for, for over 10 years. Um, I was uh, a rep with doTERRA. I was terminated by doTERRA in October of 2023. Uh, I was a Blue Diamond. That was my highest rank. And I was also a Canadian founder. And um, over the, like, I never used essential oils before doTERRA. Um, they are high quality oils. And, you know, just from pure experience and other people sharing their stories and experiences, yeah. I learned so much about essential oils. Uh, I'm not a doctor. I'm not an aromatherapist. I'm not trained in anything specific, but I have been using them internally, topically, aromatically for over 10 years. And, and um, because of that, I, I do have a wealth of knowledge. And um, I just want to point out right now that um, a good friend of mine um, is a doctor of natural medicine. And her name is Dr. Michelle Cook. Uh, Michelle is spelled M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E, and Cook is C-O-O-K. She has a website. So drmichellecook.com. And she has an essential oil section. So drmichellecook.com forward slash essential oils. She's got digital downloads there. And she's also written a number of books on essential oils, which I have in my possession. One is called Pain Erasers, and this one, especially for us women, Essential Oils for Hormone Bliss. She has recipes in there. She talks about the proper usage of essential oils. This is, you know, if you want someone with that science background and that the educational background, and some people like to read books, this is your go-to. So I'm, I'm a big believer of less is more when it comes to essential oils. You do need to experiment. And um, for people that are very sensitive, they should be using a carrier oil along with their pure oils. So a carrier oil can be olive oil, jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, you know, those types of th those types of things, right? So it helps dilute it. Getting back to internal use, though, it should be a matter of preference. Uh, and you want to be careful with hot oils. There are different ways that you can take oils internally. One of the ways that I take internally is I use a veggie cap like this. So I pour the oils into the cap and I take it with food. So it goes down nicely. And um, you may want to take it even with an oil too, like olive oil again. And usually you just need one or two drops like I, I filled these things right up to the top. Again, I, I know my body. Um, and the reason why I like the internal is it, I mean, you don't have to taste it, right? If you're getting it on your tongue and stuff. It, ugh. um, so easy way for that to go down. And, um, I think the main reason Ryan and Lisa, the reason why people were afraid of internal use is because the oils were not pure. You're going to start with peppermint. If you can grab your peppermint bottle. Got it. Okay. So if you can just put your hand out. Not are you good? You got your peppermint? Oh, he's, 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 he's he, Okay. He's okay, no problem. All right. So what we're going, going to comes. do is one drop, one, one drop on the palm of our hand. Okay. Sometimes two comes out, but try to just get one. There, one, one drop. Guys, good? Okay, we're gonna rub our hands together. Now we are going to inhale deeply. Woo! Yeah, baby. That'll open up the sinuses. Okay, <laughs> now you wanna take it a step further. <laughs> See, Ryan? <laughs> you wanna take it a step further and we make a little, a little ball with our hands, okay? So like this, we're going to inhale deeply. Be prepared to cough a little bit here. <coughs> See? Yeah. <laughs> totally normal. It's cleaning out the lungs. Okay. You got that, guys? Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Now take your hands, and you're going to just rub the back of your neck. 
you making us do things, Jane. I, I know. <laughs> kind of, do okay, this? so do you see how powerful that was? That was yeah. one drop of peppermint essential oil. We did it aromatically. We did, oh, one more thing. I'm missing an important part. Ooh. You know how we still have some on the palm of our hand? Put your thumb on the palm of your hand and put it on the roof of your mouth. It's going to freshen your entire mouth. Don't need to chew gum when you got peppermint oil. Fresh so, what, yes. So we just did, we did aromatically inhaling. We did internal and we did topical. Okay. So now we're going to move on to the lemon. So lemon is probably one of my favorite oils because it is so inexpensive and it's so multi-purpose. So I actually make my own homemade um, cleaners. This one I've got labeled glass cleaner, but any type of spritzer, you can clean your counters. Um, if you want to spruce up your dish soap, you can put a drop right into your into your dish soap uh, um, dispenser. Um, lemon is the thing that is a degreaser. So you can clean your entire oven with a bottle of essential oil because you drop it right onto the grease, let it sit for a little, little bit, and then it's going to wipe right off. And it will remove... Um, if you have a child and it gets a gum in their hair, you can help get it out with the lemon oil. You can, um, if you have um, like a sticker on a bottle and you need to get it off, put a bit of lemon oil and it'll wipe it right off. If you have a coffee mug that's full of stains, put the lemon oil in there, sit there and it'll wipe right off. It's a super duper cleaner. If you do choose to use lemon um, or any essential oil in your water, I would not use a plastic container, right? Because the it will eat the plastic eventually. So use a stainless steel mug, cup, thermos, whatever, uh, or, um, you know, glass, whatever. That's totally fine. Uh, so anything like you can use, um, I have dryer balls and I put essential oils on my dryer balls all the time. Um, you can actually put the oil right into the washing machine. Um, a lot of them have those pull out things. And when you put your laundry detergent in, you can actually put a couple of drops of lemon into just helps fight the mold and bacteria and that sort of thing. And it spruces it right up. So great cleanser oil. Okay. Tea tree also has some of those same benefits as cleaning as well. So we'll move on from the lemon getting into lavender. This is considered your calming oil. And some people, all they need is a drop on their pillow at night. That's it. Um, some people like to rub it behind their, their ears, their, you know, um, their temples. Um, they, uh, the wrists are good. Uh, some people have that jewelry that you can buy with the little stones. And they like to have it on, on those black little lava stones. There's many different, oh, there you go, Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I have a little, it's a little black one and there's like three beads on it that are the ones that absorb the oil and then you put it on there and that's, yeah, I use these all the time. <laughs> perfect, perfect. And um, of course, very good in the diffuser. We haven't talked about diffusers yet. Um, you can get your diffusers anywhere. Um, if you're finding that your diffusers are not working properly, it's because you probably haven't cleaned them out. You should run it through with vinegar to clean up all the pieces of the diffuser, whether you put one oil in the diffuser or several oils. And that's sometimes an experimental thing. There's tons of recipes online about using what blends, you know, to make a nice um, thing, like especially real estate agents that want to um, have hope and houses coming through. That, that's great. All right. So we've covered lavender. Now we're going to go over to immunity. I was really excited when you guys put together this blend, which is clove, cinnamon, orange, rosemary, and eucalyptus. This is a blend that uh, over the years I have taken internally. And again, I love it with my, with my veggie cap. And just a note about the veggie cap, these dissolve. So you don't want to make your veggie caps ahead of time you'll waste your oils, make them at the time and then swallow them. Uh, these are all immune uh, boosting oils. Um, but these, these five oils, they're absolutely fantastic. Like even on their own, they're fantastic, but to have as a blend. And also just to show you another little trick here, 
Um, and again, you can use this as if you're in an area, you're in an airport, you're on a plane, and you just feel like you need to clean your ha hands, you're not near a, a wash basin, you can rub it on like what we did earlier. But even just on the top here of the, you can see I'm waiting for it to come out. There, two came out. You like so how I'm that uh, meter dropper works on that. It doesn't just free flow. Right. The, the, yes. the cap on that—that that was specific. These are the, these are a more expensive dropper, so that they really are calibrated to one drop. If you notice, excellent cheap point. Just pours out. Excellent point, Ryan. Thank you for saying that. So I just rubbed this in, and if I want to just do a quick little, there, I licked it. It's in my mouth. I've just now given myself a little boost, right? So easy, I can just rub it in, you know, whatever I want to do, I just get it on me. You can put it on a little scarf, um, you know, hold it up. That would be a secondary form of inhalation. This blend, I mean, I've covered some of the uses, um, but also for cleaning, like washing your floors with something like this. Oh man, you're going to your house is going to smell fantastic, right? Just mixing it in with some water. Um, and I mean, really, you, you can do anything like the dryer balls, the, um, if you don't have a dryer ball, just grab an old cloth that you don't care about, put it on and throw it in the dryer. So many things you can do. Which oil is that, Jane? This is the immunity blend. Oh, okay. You're still on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to move on to tea tree. So tea tree, one of the biggest things, athlete's foot. If you got any fungus between your toes, oh, that this thing works fantastic. Also good very uh, um, disinfecting. If you've got a wound, this is an oil that you could put on the wound, help speed up the healing. Uh, and, uh, you know, like if you've got a whiteboard, I have a whiteboard here. When I need to clean it off, I just use this on um, on a Kleenex and I, I wipe it off. So you don't have to buy those chemical cleaners. And um, same thing, you can do drop on your hand, just inhale. Um, another thing that you can do you can really make your oils last a long time this way, is just inhale right from the bottle. You'd be amazed at how much benefit that you can get from this, okay? And um, yeah, like you just, you know, keep it, it's so handy to keep this around. It's just a little, like you can hide it if you don't want anybody to see what you're doing. You know, even um for a little pimple, you know, because it's antibacterial, you just, you know, for the teenagers, they can do do something like that too, right? Um, if, if you want to have your garbage can smelling better, a few drops going in, it's anything you can think of that's help going to gonna help with bacteria and so on and nasty smells, um, putting them in um, stinky gym sneakers, your gym bags, fantastic. Now we're going to get into frankincense. This is the king of all oils. Um, this passes the blood brain barrier. And there's a saying that Dr. Michelle Cook came out with, which is, if in doubt, pull the frankincense out. If you don't know what oil to use, grab your frank. It is very good for brain. Um, and again, we've done this little experiment, you know, and memory issues, just come and sniff. And you're, you feel like your brain's working better again. Um, you know, they, any, um, again, don't want to use uh, names for diseases or anything like that. Got to be careful, but memory issues, this is the one you want. It's also very, very good for your skin. And I want to tell you right now, tried and true and tested. I've done it. I have a redhead sun, sunburns, lavender and frankincense are the two oils that you need to use together for sunburn relief. Use a carrier oil to go with it. Works every time. And also, I, I'm saying this now because I don't want to forget. For those of you that suffer from seasonal allergies, we have something. It's a tri-blend, which is lavender, lemon, and peppermint. When you put the three of them together, you will help that relief with the seasonal threats. So you can do that in the veggie cap. You can put it in the diffuser. And you can do it topically. Um, lavender is like a natural antihistamine. And so the, the puffiness can go down and that sort of thing. Okay. Um, back to the Frank. 
skin issues, I would I would put it directly on. It, it's not an oil that stings. It's not considered a hot oil. A hot oil would be like oregano or cinnamon, cassia, that kind of thing. Um, and emotions, emotions like this is why um, in yoga classes and meditation classes, they like oils like frankincense and like mood enhancing oils because for my new management, because that's the time that, you know, you're just sort of calm and letting it in and really let the oils do its job. So yeah, that, this is the key right there. Yeah. I think that's okay. the main coverage, Ryan. A lot of questions came in on pets. What about citrus? What about some of the others? What's the risk with pets in the house? Okay. The answer I can give about that is Dr. Kelly Mark. Uh, she's on my Live Good team. She is Canada's oily vet. She has a Facebook page. She is the go-to person for pet questions. Where do you get your veggie caps? Probably just from Amazon, I imagine? Any health food store. A uh, little bit about diffuser. So I've told people that not to go so big on a diffuser. Typically look for something a little smaller, like the 100 ml. But if it's plastic, which most are, look for BPA-free. Look for something that has a timer. Um, and then of course, make electric, I mean, there are the wick based ones as well. What are some, what's some other advice you would give people shopping for a diffuser? Cause live good at this time, even though we are going to launch a diffuser does not have one right now. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you want to look at a warranty. Um, I've had people say before that they've bought stuff from Amazon and it was cheap and boy, was it cheap in quality because it didn't even last a few months. So sometimes buying a higher quality one with a good warranty is the one to look for. Um, you do need to clean your, your diffusers because some oils are thicker, not that we have that in this situation, but um, an oil like vetiver, for example, is a thick oil and it can gum up your diffuser. That's the kind of thing that you have to watch. You can just wipe it out with a soft cloth after you're finished with it. I mean, not every time or anything like that, but just, just keep an eye on it. What, what what would you tell someone that's looking at it from an anti-aging perspective? What's the best combo that we offer right now for, say, wrinkles, uh, just some of this obvious aging signs of the skin? That's a good question because you know what? We had a guy that put frankincense around his eyes. That's and after me. Okay. No, I do do that. I, I've okay. Actually it. And on my son and on my age spots, my son spots. Perfect on the age spots. <laughs> yep. Yes. Yeah. Wow. So he, yeah, he did it for, I think like about 30 days straight and um, people were going around asking him if he had a facelift. You can um, put oils on cotton balls and put them around the house. You can put them by your car vents, you know, and um, peppermint is actually very good at um, keeping spiders away. I have one a friend of mine who had a problem with a possum and she used peppermint and it drove the possum away. So peppermint possum oil. <laughs> What do you put in your water, Jane? Do you add like a drop of lemon or peppermint? What is your? I don't do it all the time. I just I just do it when I feel like it. And how much? Yeah. Would you just put one drop? One of drop. Lemon? Yeah, one drop. Oh, a tip with that. Add a little pinch of Himalayan salt to your nice. water. Will help with you because you know how it sits. The film sits on the top of the water, it's so you got to mix it right. in. Right. Yeah. Right. Really no, good for you to have the Himalayan salt with the oils and and, and drink that down. Kids, you should be diluting if you're going to use your oils on on kids, you know, like the belly button is a good spot to put oils in. But, um, you know, if you're going to put like a little bit of peppermint in your belly button for digestion, I, I put any anybody who's sensitive, put the co coconut oil on or, or whatever carry oil. I had a really bad cold recently and I did a steam tent. So I boiled the water and then I let it cool down and then I put the oils in and I put a towel over my head. And I just let the oils and man, oof, it just goes right into you like, and then you're coughing up, whatever. So that's another great way to um, clean up the uh, germs from a cold and all that. Yeah. I'll highlight those resources one more time. Yes. Okay. So drmichellecook.com slash essential oils. She has that essential oil section there. And she's got the digital downloads. She, you know, so check out the rest of her website. Um, she's, she has the books available. As I said, excellent. Um, she's written many books and um, she's a wealth of knowledge. She's been using oils longer than I have. She has huge experience. Uh, so that's for Michelle. And then um, 
I, I have a public Facebook page, Jane Mullen. You can follow me, M-U-L-L-I-N, spelled that way on the Zoom here. And um, I just say, in, in, enjoy your oils. Like, just go play with them. But you guys did a great job on the sourcing and the testing. And uh, it was a great story that you shared. I, I love the transparency about how the two oils failed the test, the tea tree and the, um, I believe, peppermint failed peppermint. the test. And you had to go back. And, and that's that's what we need. Agreed. Agreed. All right, Lisa, any closing thoughts? Um, no. No, I don't think I have any besides Jane. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you coming on here and sharing your knowledge base with us and, uh, you know, providing yourself again, available for people to possibly reach out to you as well as Dr. Michelle Cook and uh, Canada's oily vet. Till next time. We'll see you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye now.